Today we're going to talk about two tree species that are gymnosperms. Now gymnosperms are non-flowering plants and so unlike things like maples and beeches and, and uh, oaks, these don't produce flowers, these produce cones. And sometimes people will think that all gymnosperms, and particularly the ones we're going to look at today, are pines. But not all of them are pines, and so I'm going to show you how to know if it's a truly a pine or not. The first one that we're going to look at is this tree that's right behind me, and this is eastern hemlock. And so this is Suga canadensis. It's in the pine family, but it's not actually a pine. So to know how to identify this tree, uh, we're going to take a closer look at the leaves, or the needles, right up here. This tree has needles coming off of either side of the stem, as you can see here. So it's sort of a flattened uh, approach, okay? And then, and so the needles are leaves, and I'm going to say a couple words about, about these um, evergreen trees in just a moment as well. But one of the key characteristics, the way that you can tell that this is eastern hemlock, is if you turn it over and look really closely at the lower surfaces of those needles, you'll see two white stripes running along the underside of each needle. And that's a real nice field characteristic to tell you, yep, that's an eastern hemlock. The second conifer species that we're going to look at is this small tree right here. And this is the white pine. So this is the genus Pinus. It's Pinus strobus. And this is the, the uh, Michigan State tree, so I had to include this one in my videos. And the white pine is a true pine, unlike the eastern uh, hemlock that we just looked at. And if we take a closer look at the branch and the needles, I can show you why. If you look closely at this, you'll see that the needles are clustered. That is, instead of having a single needle coming out of each point on the stem, you have little clusters of them. Uh, we call them fascicled needles. We say they're in fascicles. And in the white pine, there are five needles per fascicle. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I can see it from here. I think you can see it. One, two, three, four, five needles per fascicle. Some pines only have two needles per fascicle. Some have uh, five, but they all have more than one. So if it's only one needle coming out of the stem, it's not truly a pine, even if it's an evergreen, a conifer. Uh, but if it's got uh, two or more, there's a very good chance it's truly a pine. One final thing that I wanted to address in this video is the difference between ever, species that are evergreen and species that are deciduous. So think, trees like beech and maples, those are deciduous trees. And those, those trees lose their leaves in the winter time. And that's really what being deciduous is an adaptation for, is, is th those leaves would not survive winter, so it, the tree drops them, and then they're recycled, and they grow, it grows new ones the next winter. Now those trees, the deciduous trees, build leaves that are energetically, in a sense, cheap. They're chintzy, and so they're not durable, and they wouldn't survive the freezing. Evergreen trees produce, put a lot more energy into their leaf production. So these leaves, although energetically they're harder to build than leaves on a deciduous tree, they're built to last. And so these needles, these leaves, can survive the harsh cold winter without being damaged, okay? And, and, and eventually they wear out, but they'll last at least like, you know, a couple years up to as many as seven to 10 years or so. Uh, so that's the, really the primary difference. It's sort of a different approach to dealing with harsh winters between